Hi, my name is Nate Vera Perez and uh, I would be glad to answer your questions, yes. Um, about the Entertainer of the Year, 2016 for Hall of Fame, he happens to be a very good soul. His name is Richie Hill. I am very proud of him and I have, uh, from the start, we started about him and I working together. It is a, actually a very good one. Um, he finds me very arrogant, he finds me very strict, and he finds me very demanding. He finds me that when I host the show, that I cannot waste any minutes. He finds me... I had a feeling that he didn't like me at first. But I didn't care about that. Because what I saw in him is a real talent. When, when I actually um, worked with him the first time, I immediately can see just like when you're watching a seed, you can tell that this is a good seed. Now, what I was trying to develop with him before was the fact that if you are going through an entertainment business, you cannot just go through something and claim to the world that you are in the entertainment business without proving to them that you are worth watching, that you are worth the record. That is just my principle. I have known him in a long time, not just in entertainment business, but what I'm telling you right now is the first time that we have worked as partners in entertainment. I host, he plays it as a DJ. Workwise, I first knew Richie as a nurse. We worked together, we're both nurses. <laughs> yeah, we're both nurses. We work at, at Norwegian American Hospital in Chicago. We work at intensive care unit as staff nurse. I was a charger in the evening or in the, in, in the night shift and he was basically our charger in the morning and at the same time he happens to be what he called a resource person. He is the one that we run to if we don't know anything about a new stuff going on in the intensive care. What am I basically telling you that he is a tough cookie in here? Richie knows his stuff in nursing. Richie is intelligent. And, well, some people are intelligent but not skillful. Well, I'm telling you, he has both. He is very skilled in nursing, and um, I am impressed with his versatility in the nursing world. But if you have worked with someone in nursing for quite some time, I am 23 years in nursing myself, you kind of know, like, well, it's not as impressive as you look beyond things, right? Because you, you'd be like, these are all expectations when you are in the intensive care unit. And so we move on to some categories that I like to judge people because I'm not really a good judge of hatred. So I went around and I want to see what's going on with his life. So I went around and noticed that he's a very good guy. There's one thing that makes me impressed about this guy. He's a very family-oriented guy. No matter how busy he is, he always takes time bringing his family. And that's very impressive because that is one thing I will never have because I'm a single guy. And um, I think he has three kids. He loves his wife very, very much. I have the honor of uh, meeting both of them. His name is Jeannie and uh, uh, he is, uh, she is very loving mother and uh, I really have a good time meeting all of them. The three kids, I barely saw them except in pictures, but I could tell you could a picture tells you a thousand things, right? And for him, you could tell that when he's with his family, he shuts off his world and makes sure that he has time for his family. Now you see, there, these are only two points about this guy, Richie Hill. Now we move on to the next, the entertainment. He doesn't sing, but he can hum a tune. If you ask me if he dances, watch for yourself. Okay, I want you to see that for yourselves. I know I'm a host in Let's Dance With Nick and I studied dancing at Makati Ballroom and I danced all kinds of dances. But never have I seen someone who would lead the crowd and make the crowd go crazy over the dance moves. And with that, I was totally impressed. I said, basically I'm not alone in the nursing world who happens to be also in entertainment. I am just, my, my proudest moment to know that I have someone with me who can understand every language I have about entertainment. So 
So I think I broke the 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 little barrier with him because as soon as he grew in the entertainment business as a DJ, he kind of understand where I was going to and where I was coming from. He knew that the entertainment business is very volatile, that if you don't do your best, you will never have a shot anywhere you go. That if you will take it for granted, like most people take things for granted, because there's a big difference between if you're passionate about what you're doing because you really love it, or you're just doing it because it feeds your children. And it's gonna show. People are people, and they can feel your emotions when you do something, especially in the entertainment world. I try to build an audience basing on the fact that people come to pay, and these are not free shows, so don't give them below the belt shows, right? Give them your best shots, give them your professional shots. And I don't even know where to start because as soon as I figured these three things, the three great things about Richie Hill, I know he deserves a spot to be this year's Entertainer of the Year. I have so many names in my mind, but none came out that stood out in my forehead than the name Richie Hill. And I'm proud to present to you the Hall of Fame Filipino American, Filipino Asian American, Hall of Fame Awards for Entertainment Excellence 2016, Mr. Richie Hill. Proud of you. Make me proud more and wishing you all the best. Congratulations.